Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to the beautiful Lake Farso. Today, we are in a pigeon and something that actually makes the pigeon look large. This is the cutest... <laughs> God, even I set that up and it startled me. We'll get to the, the massive cannon truck later, but uh, yes, I have to try off-roading in what essentially is a Power Wheels. All right, so yeah, this is a rather new modded map. It's been a while since we did a modded map, so I thought it'd be fun to uh, check another one out. This looks fantastic, and in the distance, I'm seeing some super large jumps. We'll definitely get over and try those later. I need to find something that this can off-road in. And I mean, it definitely won't be able to go up a mountain. So we're just going to try it on some pebbles. You know what? This is almost perfect right here. All right. So we just got to open the tailgate. There used to be a light here. I don't know where it is now. You know what? I'll just use my manly strength. Can I not actually rip this off? There we go. I just had to get out of uh, walking mode, I guess. The pigeon will be fine. Let's get over to this now. Okay, so obviously electric base. This is adorable. I can't get over how small this thing is. It looks normal when you see it alone. But yeah, you can really gauge the size when you compare it to a standard van. Uh, yeah, this is quite possibly the smallest vehicle I've ever used in this game. And I've used some weird ones before. All right, trying off-roading. This thing has no torque at all. I am spinning already. It can't even get up this. I don't even know what this is for. Is it actually for children? Because I don't think it's it's bi it's big enough for adults. So I think it's just like a ch a rich child's off-roader. Let's go see how fast we, we can make this puppy purr. Oh, yeah. 10 miles seems to be its max hit. I I'm going to full throttle into a tree. Can we even do damage to this thing? Oh, this is... Why are you all watching this? This is the most anticlimactic beam NG ever. All right, so we had the standard. There's the carbon edition as well. Of course, that's going to be faster. Maybe we'll get up to 12. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Okay. It, you know what? It just picked up really quickly. I thought it was fast. This is literally the same. It's just the carbon variant. So it's got... Is that even carbon? I don't even know the difference. <laughs> What just happened? No, I just wanted to go fast with the Jado. How do I turn this thing on? T. All right, you're going to go fast whether you like it or not, you little jerk. Oh, God, I just saw his wheels rip off. Uh, unfortunately, I had too many cars on the map, so I wasn't able to get to it. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I could just easily attach a Jado, but uh, kind of hard when the Jado is literally bigger than the vehicle you're trying to attach it to. So yeah, not really sure what this mod's made for, but uh, that's the great thing about BeamNG. There is no reason for anything. It's just fun, damn it. And now I'm going to space anyways. All right, and check this out. The biggest issue with the Wydra in the water was it was excruciatingly slow. Now, it's... Why is it not starting? Am I, uh, am, am I not deep enough? I got it! Okay, I just had to put it in manual drive. And off into the sunset we go. There's so many jumps on this map. Uh, yeah, I was really hoping it'd be a little bit faster than this. <laughs> Still really cool that we have an engine and pontoons on the uh, new vehicle. What? Oh, no. That was actually not supposed to happen. Kind of convenient. I was going to do the whole Jado joke again, though. Already getting old on this episode, but now I legit need the Jado because I just broke my engine somehow trying to set this up. <laughs> All right. Let's just uh, aim it in one direction, and hopefully we go a little bit faster with the power of Jados. I mean, we're definitely going faster. Uh, I didn't expect it. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, Jado might be a little too powerful. All right, well, once again, another anticlimactic vehicle. Uh, but yeah, still really fun. Sticking with the Wydra, though, check this out. I believe this might be the first legit tracked vehicle in the game. This thing has legit... Oh, this feels so good. Dude, can we have tanks already? That, that would be so great. But uh, yeah, I had to check this out. Okay, not as good at going over things as I thought. Did I get stuck on the first boulder that I hit with a tracked vehicle? I mean, it doesn't have crazy ground clearance. Okay, it's going to catch on fire here. Let's try this again. That was just a fluke. This thing's going to go perfectly this time. You watch. I mean, this is a small boulder. Are you serious? All right, let's try this in some mud then just to see. Oh, yeah, it is actually... Wow. 
I mean, I haven't went through this mud with the ordinary version. I'd like to try just to see the difference. I think I found where the tracks are truly good, and that is in this kind of muddy, gross terrain, which is kind of what tracks are really designed for. They should be able to go over terrain too as well, though. All right, so let's compare that, see if it's any better. Okay, it really isn't any better at all. I mean, they just look cool. That's the important part. I am kind of slowing down, but uh, I think it's pretty much the same speed, more or less. So yes, essentially just you add tracks and it becomes worse because it can't go over ordinary terrain like this. Oh yeah, there we go. Just bouncing around. This thing's a beast. I, 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 I need to use this thing more. All right, so we're back at the new map. We're going to check this place out. I did see when we were playing around with the uh, awful boat that there's a jump here. Going to need probably a pretty fast car. There really isn't a runway to get up to this, but we're not going too far. This probably won't make it though. Yeah, we're swimming with the fishes. All right, can the sunburst do it? The heavily modified sunburst, of course. This should be more than enough. And, oh, direct hit. Damn it, a little far, but that's okay. I'll take that as a success. Ah, but we made it to the top and it's a perfect place for a picnic, of course. So yes, I don't know if you remember like three years ago, we checked this thing out and uh, I guess, <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I guess the developer kind of abandoned this project. So somebody else took over and started designing it. Now, I don't know why some of my um, textures aren't working, but that's a fridge, that's a bed, and that's a table. All right, come on, big guy. You're going to have a great time. I, I just wanted... This is the weirdest picnic, by the way. Oh, no, he's like stuck in it now. I feel like I did this before and it, the exact same thing happened. For whatever reason, the dummies like to get stuck inside this vehicle. Just get in there. Just go, go have fun. Stop hang. God damn it, man. I just wanted to add some humans to that. Wow, that went really smooth. <laughs> All I have to do is get mad and throw things and things work out. Like, watch, here we go. Nailed it. All right, we're gonna go to the picnic destination now, which is death. Sir, you might wanna get your legs inside. I am not held accountable if the uh, tire rips them off. I think that's the last of your concerns. So here we go. Time for a wonderful picnic. This is just insane. It'd be nice if there was like an actual landing ramp. No, this is just death, essentially. Can we can we can we have a, a mid-flight picnic? <laughs> Hello, everybody! Come on out. The weather's fine out here. Oh, you you've jammed the door. This is all your fault then. There you go. Now you're outside enjoying the fresh air, aren't you? Big old dummies, literally. Well, if that isn't a satisfying picnic, I don't know what is. This is this is the stupidest episode I've ever done, I think. <laughs> All right, what we need is a little bit more speed. So check this out. Honestly, I'm kind of more impressed by the uh, fabric quality of this car hider than the actual car itself. But yeah, we have a scintilla. Oh my God, that was satisfying. That was super satisfying. Look at that show. Oh, oh. Okay, I just broke it with it. God damn it. I got all excited thinking you were great and you broke the damn... What did you do to it? You destroyed the whole back bumper. All right. Well, thankfully, this is a video game. We'll just quickly reset. Uh, I have some ideas for that. Oh, that's lagging me. Okay, so obviously fabric is a little bit laggy. Let's get away from it. The lag is following me. Why is the lag following me? I just want to do this jump. That is... That is... I mean, that's kind of doing the jump. Okay. I have fixed the lag. Let's try this again. I just want to see how far we can get. There's a bunch more jumps. I mean, this one just kind of leads into the middle of nowhere. This should be some uh, disaster, though. We're going right for a front-end dive. And... Well, supercar no more. What happens when I floor it on this? Oh, it does rip it up. Dude, that is... Honestly, fabric is so fun to play with in this game. All right, is this, uh, is this a jump? Oh, my God. What the hell? Why, why is it turn? Jesus. This is hard enough. All right, full throttle, baby. I don't know where this one's going, but we're going there. So yeah, these are all just meant to destroy vehicles. You can kind of appreciate how big this map is, though. Uh, I do want to try the one that goes directly into the city because I think we can actually reach it. All right, this is the big one that I saw from the distance. If we can make it to the city, I'll be happy. Not bad, not bad. In terms of a big jump, that wasn't too bumpy at all. Usually they're way too bumpy to the point where I destroy a supercar's suspension. Well, it's destroyed now, but we did make it to the actual city. So yeah, there's a highway all around this beautiful map. Uh, there's a lot more to it than what meets the eye. It looks like we got a big jump here, actually. Let's see where this one goes. 
Just into, I mean, all the jumps in this game are meant to just destroy vehicles. But yeah, super beautiful map. I'm really impressed by it. And we have, oh my God. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought we'd be able to move it. Um, You can't even see what this is now. C can you get out of the way? my god so yes we have thor's hammer and this has to okay what am i at strength of 100 percent. can i really i can bend interesting i can bend it so that tells me i mean it's not just welded to the ground you have to spawn these things in so it must be movable like the, i mean obviously it's thor's hammer the whole point is only he can grab it oh oh you wait how did i okay so i can move it it's so heavy though this is insane now I'm just curious, can I get anything that can knock it down? All right, full throttle again. I just want to see, can we even, it doesn't even like knock it over a little bit. That was a super satisfying side crash, by the way. Love seeing this thing crash because uh, the actual frame is modular. So it literally just rips the car in half and uh, we, we clearly just lost our whole back end. Okay, I think we need something a little bit heavier. And by a little bit heavier, I mean a dump truck with a ram plow on the front. I mean, this is pretty much as heavy as I can get. We could go a little bit faster. I just want to see if we have any chance at taking this thing out. All right, so here it comes. Oh my god. That is actually insane. It did move ever so slightly, but if that's what happens to a dump truck... I don't think we're going to be able to even knock this thing over, let alone pick it up. All right, I got one of my more beefier vehicles in this game. I just want to see what happens when I simply just drop it, not even from high, on top. So that's like a foot. Is it just going to... Oh my god, look at the suspension. <laughs> oh my, it ripped the roof. It actually ripped. This is insane. I I wish it was actually lighter so I could haul it. Because it'd be really fun to haul something so freaking heavy. Like, it just destroyed. There's no way we're going to be able to do anything with this thing besides just destroy vehicles like this. All right. Something that is literally designed for heavy loads. We're also putting it on top of the axle, which should be the, the strongest part. Let's see. Can we actually haul this? Oh, my God. <laughs> It's actually insane how heavy this is. I really wish I could do something with this, but I I think if unless there's a Thor mod, I don't think we're grabbing this. All right, check this out, everybody. Look at my beautiful invention. This is going to be the blanket of destruction. So yeah, I immediately, when I uh, saw how much damage this thing did, just screwing around with it, I knew I had to try and run into it with something. So we are going to do exactly that right now. All right, yeah, I don't see this being the most disastrous thing we've ever ran into, but it should be super satisfying to watch it kind of cover this whole vehicle and hopefully destroy it as it does. And hopefully... Hopefully we don't lag too much because this is going to be probably a lot to process there. Oh, <laughs> that is super satisfying. Oh, and the way it just wraps around the pole. Oh my God, it's actually stuck. All right, unwrap because I don't want to reset that up. That's a pain in the butt. So yeah, not a lot of damage, but definitely enough. Obviously, the faster we go, the better this is going to be. So let's get something a little bit uh, faster, shall we? All right, we got a heavily modified Pessima. Going over a hundred and oh, dude, I love how it just grabs everything. Such a fun thing to destroy vehicles. I have actually a better idea. First of all, we need a little bit more of a runway, so we'll back this thing up. All right, and all I'm simply going to do, I have two weld points in the uh, thing here. I want to weld it from the bottom as well. That way it rips both ways. Now it's kind of hard to do this because all the welds change their strength at the same time. So I'm going to try and get the edge over here. And there we go. We essentially have a giant tarp that's welded to the ground as well. All right, already over 100. We are getting much more speed. Dude, I'm so curious what's going to happen here. Is it just going to like get caught like a giant net. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. It shot me back. Now I now I need something faster. This is essentially a, a, a car slingshot now. Well, we already saw it once today, but it is the perfect vehicle for this. We got the Skintilla out once again. 
This should be able to go a little bit faster. Already going over 100. Where the hell is it? I can't even see it. Oh, God. There it is. Okay. Slow it down. I got to aim this up. 160 already. This thing is insane. I am going to slingshot so far. We could probably get it. It's just shifting gears now. We could probably get it up to 200 if we wanted to. This should be pretty disastrous, though. Miss my shot. Oh, I love that I don't even have to reset this. Like, it's already good. Dude, this is probably the coolest destruction thing I've ever done in this game. All right, same as before. Actually going a little bit faster this time. I need to go in the middle. That was much better. Dude, it is so hard to catch that. And I, unfortunately, I just get locked into it, as you can see. Still super amazing. We must go heavier to see how that affects it. All right, we got a fully loaded bus, over 100 dummies in there, ready to die. And uh, I decided to use the single-story bus only because this thing really isn't that tall. And I think the multi-story would probably just hit the giant pole. And that's not what we want. We want to hit the beautiful tarp of funness. So yeah, unfortunately, not the fastest of vehicles. But with the weight behind this, I think this is going to be disastrous regardless. And we're getting a stable 55 miles per hour. It should be coming up soon here still isn't loaded in there it is right there oh yeah this is perfect any any taller this wouldn't have worked so really glad we chose this here we go <laughs> look at everybody leaning and other way <laughs> i just wish it was a bit faster that was actually the most chill crash ever we essentially just went in reverse i mean the front end would say to otherwise though we have to be able to go faster than that all right, unfortunately, there's no seats involved, but still another bus and the Drift Tech bus. This should be able to go a little bit faster. God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to aim this. I'm getting no steering at all. I just broke something. I don't know what. Okay, going in, slow it down. I need to slow it down so I can steer this correctly because we actually are aimed quite well. Oh, there's like no steering. The understeer is insane. But when you're going 300 kilometers an hour, not shocked or miles per hour yeah, that's even worse jesus all right i am turning hard to the right i am just going right straight though you can see my wheels they are turning oh this is actually be satisfying though getting a side hit oh this is gonna be real satisfying and get ready for disaster oh it's just gonna rip right through it's not even gonna pull it one piece was holding on but not enough to actually destroy it still super satisfying crash all right, better align this time right in the middle. Oh, it's pulling it. <laughs> Dude, it's so fun seeing it just stretch like crazy. I wish the fabric actually wasn't so stretchy because then we'd probably be a lot more destroyed. Regardless, this is the funnest thing I've ever just crashed into. And that's why I love this game so much. Somebody mods in a, a sheet just to hide your car. And I figure out that that is probably the coolest thing to destroy cars with. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll wrap up this episode of BeamNG Drive here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed some more shenanigans in this awesome vehicle sandbox. As always, if you didn't want to download any of the mods that you saw in this episode, I should have links at the top of the video description. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.